What are some of the ways that we can be more present, that we can check in with ourselves before we get there? I had a really um, big presentation. You know, one of those ones that you're excited about in the morning and you put on your best suit and your shiny shoes and you just know it's going to be a great day. It was with a huge multinational client, so it was kind of a big deal. I turn up at this meeting feeling like I am on fire. Everything's going to go just fantastically. I get into the meeting and it was like being hit by a freight train of negativity and depression. I walk out of there, slumped shoulders, feeling like a shell of my former self and just thinking, oh, this is just like so sad and pathetic. I go to the bathroom and I have a look at myself in the mirror. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like what has happened to you from like half an hour ago? And I, a few weeks before I had been to the movies and um, Robert Downey Jr. Had, had just made this new movie called Due Date. And I don't know who saw Due Date, anybody? And there's this great scene, um, hilarious, where Robert Downey Jr. spits on the dog. I know, a little bit naughty, but it's just you had to be there one of those moments. And the guy with the dog turns around to him and goes, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. And, you know, it just made me crack up because who remembers that song? It was, I think it was Vanilla Ice, yeah? Back in the day, like, I, I, no, it was the one, check it, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yeah, it's hilarious. And so I just had this song playing in my head for weeks afterwards. And as I'm standing there in the mirror, all slumped and depressed, I've just said to myself, you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because I knew that I was going to take that negativity and that slumped, depressed feeling into my next meeting. Now, how do you think I would have gone? And that happens whether we're taking negativity from somewhere, whether we're taking busyness in and we just can't be present or something's happened at home or we've had a nightmare client on the phone and then we've got to be on with the next client and we can't afford to have that happen. Because I know when I got started in sales at just 17, I was not the best salesperson, but I was certainly the most enthusiastic, the most present. And I got business over 40 year veterans in the industry, not because I was better, but because I was enthusiastic and present. And they felt that I was there listening to them and they felt that enthusiasm. And we feed off energy. We want to be around someone who's enthusiastic and excited. We don't want to be around the person who needs to check themselves. 